it's been radical. Honestly, it's been amazing to be able to be so connected to the community. I didn't realize exactly how many folks came out to enjoy local culture. I think that's super important. We've lost a lot of that, I think, over the pandemic, so it's nice that it's coming back. My name is Kimberly Ferguson and I'm a ceramic sculptor. I'm also an artist in residence at the Bailey Contemporary Art Studio. This residency program lasts for nine months and uh, you're obligated to stay the nine months and then there's various other obligations like having the artist of the month. Uh, you have to be here for Old Town Untapped. You have to do on-site and off-site community engagement events. Um, but residencies are just a thing in the art world and in a lot of other worlds. Uh, scientists do residencies, uh, photographers, videographers do residencies. It's um, kind of a way for you to get like a crash course and extend your practice. My name is Gregory Durr. I'm a visual artist. I do the traditional painting and sculpture, but I'll also do things like video, installation, music, calligraphy, textiles, pretty much anything that uh, I feel is a good fit for me at the time, I'll do. We continue to do our monthly untapped event, um, which is by numbers our biggest event. We usually attract from three to 5,000 people the first Friday of every month. My name is Ty Tabin, and I'm the Director of Cultural Affairs for the City of Pompano Beach. I'm very proud of really the Artists in Residence program being revamped. Um, we've brought in new artists and they are all dynamic artists who do fantastic artwork and they're really great people. So they've been wonderful to be on site and um, get to know them and really celebrate them and uh, hopefully provide some professional development to them along the way. This program is dreams come true to me. I just love to be with the other artists. It's very different than like when I was in art school. We all established artists already. I also love the program. They pick very different artists. And I love that. Love to see the, what the other artists do and I love the feedback they are giving. My name is Mansi Lu. I'm a multimedia visual artist. My work is inspired by the beauty of human culture, uh, nature, and the historical object. I also influenced by my Asian culture, uh, also my inner dreams and memories. I like to incorporate um, tile, stone, glass, found objects, especially rusty metal items and uh, break them apart and then recreate something whole again, uh, reimagined. So it's exciting work and it's never the same twice. I'm Darcy Roberts. I'm a mixed media mosaic artist. I'm a resident artist for eight months and this has been an incredible opportunity. I get to work in this historic building. The sunlight in this building is fantastic. Um, the people here treat us like rock stars, um, but really they just give us space and we bounce ideas off of each other and that's truly the magic of this place because normally we're home alone in our individual spaces and it's very isolating. So the, the fact that we can be here together, we connect and we learn from each other. I, I love the human figure. That was my first love. I, I learned to paint, actually, uh, drawing uh, cartoons and, and superheroes. And um, I guess uh, eventually my love for, for women is what prevails above uh, everything else. For me, it's uh, very important to uh, highlight uh, their, their personalities. More than the beauty, which is obvious, uh, I love to uh, paint these uh, strong characters and, and make an echo to their lives and their careers. My name is Leonardo Montoya. So far it's been amazing. Um, we are eight of us. Uh, we are all very diverse. We work with different medias and we even have a dancer among us. So that's, that's good because we can learn from each other. We share our um, practices and our knowledge. So that's fantastic. I am Shayna L. Woods and I use dance as a mode of meditation and movement. I believe that we should all rest 
that we should all get somewhere and sit down, like our mothers and our aunts and grandmothers taught us to. And I really believe in pushing the audience to reflect on their choices, their decisions, and how they decide to move through life. This is part of the reasons why I have these questions like what do you need in your sanctuary and what brings you joy. So my piece is called The Ritual. It's the journey to thriving. It's a space in my life that I'm still discovering. I thoroughly enjoy the people that I'm co-creating with. Everyone has their own voice and we share ideas. They've shared so many ideas with me of how I could use paint when I create, how I can use uh, mirrors or mosaic work. It inspires me to want to learn how to do it. And to me, that is a major goal. When you influence someone else who may think that, oh, that's not my ministry or my lane, as other people would say, then you've done, a, you've done your job. Our goal is that at the end of this residency, all of the artists are better artists at the conclusion than they were at the beginning of this program.